hey guys i'm back with one more experiment so i'm going to show you i think this technique is called as generational stamping i'm not 100 percent sure on the name but the idea is you're going to take one stamp ink it stamp it and then re-stamp it without re-inking so here is what i mean i'm showcasing one of my own um, recently released collaboration stamp sets with the rubber stamps I believe this one is called as dancing florals and there are so many different images here and I have so many examples of this so many ideas floating in my mind I'm sure in the coming days you will see a lot of these but today what I wanted to show you was I'm trying to use these three images here and the leaves to create like a hydrangea bouquet and I'm going to walk you through the technique of generation stamping for that. So, and I'm using all Concord and Nine things. These are so delicious. I mean, for, I don't even know what else I can call them. They just are so creamy, delicious inks. I link to the actual ink names um, in my blog post, but look at what I'm doing. I am stamping not re-inking and stamping again um, let me show you one more time so stamp do not re-ink stamp again the second impression is definitely going to be lighter than the first impression and in my case i think i previously no not think i know i previously use these um, to stamp with a different ink blue ink and that's why you're seeing some of them in fact all of them get a little bit tinge of that blue but honestly i don't mind much so i think it's okay and just like in real life i have oops i hope i'm not contaminating that ink too much that's my only worry I don't mind my hydrangea flowers getting a tinge of both because in my yard I have hydrangeas and there are pink and there are blue but then sometimes they just end up mixing I think they are too close to each other or something like that and they end up mixing and coming up with their own variety of colors absolutely beautiful so I have no issues with what they want to do I mean I love my flowers so um, yeah and I'm alternating between the two colors of ink just because. And I'm trying to see how I can get a variety of images and variety of their styles and a variety of shapes near each other. It's okay if you stamp over something. Um, the darker of the two images will look like it is in the front see where it is overlapping it is looking like it is in the front the lighter of the two gets behind but it doesn't look bad i think it looks perfectly normal so i'm okay with that and i think i'm going to just add one probably there i guess that's it we are going to repeat the same thing for um leaves and i think i'm using like a handmade paper this is a very old um, rectangle of paper from my stash um, it has been with me for a while but i'm just using it today just because i discovered it in my stash today so this is what we are going to do i want a scratch piece of paper cover part of it just because I have this dark green ink which I want to make sure I get it right and it doesn't look shabby yeah and then I can go ahead and 
do the generations generational stamping with this i think i want to trim the edge but it's going to look like that i think it will look okay um then the next one See how the second time stamping just became that much lighter, but it looks pretty nonetheless. So we are going to go with it. I'm going to trim off this piece and somewhere around here or maybe should we put it like this uh, no it's good like this I think here I might put a few more flowers and I'm wondering where I should put the sentiment I think probably right there I'm going to put the sentiment sentiment will be in a darker color so I think we should still get away with it and let's put just a couple more flowers maybe this larger one to make it look like it's more full should i put it over over here or over there Maybe over there. What if I do this? Yeah, I can do it like that and I can draw some green lines out. So I'm going to just, yeah, this is how I talk to myself, guys. Please bear with me. Even when I'm working with my computers, I talk to myself. When I'm working with my colors, I talk to myself all the time. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm not too happy with whatever happened here so I'm going to chop this off and then the sentiment will probably come over here and we'll figure out what we want to do. That will probably also trim that whole leaf. Is that okay? 